Hi everyone, it's test equipment repair time again. This is a follow-up to my repair video of this instrument, which I published more than a year ago. I will put a link in the description. So, I repaired the front end of this instrument, which was blown, and in particular I replaced four protection diodes to ground. And ideally, these diodes should not affect anything at all until the input is overloaded. But according to my measurements, which I showed in the video, the amplitude at 1 GHz dropped by about 1 dB. I used pin diodes, because it was suggested in some forum, but a viewer later suggested in the comments using TVS diodes instead. And I think it might be a good idea. Let's have a look. Let's start from the same measurement as in the repair video. 1 GHz, 0 dBm, good cable and 2 BNC adapters, and we see about minus 2.53 dBm, which is about the same as in the repair video. Let's take a look at the data sheets, in particular at parasitic capacitance. This data sheet is for pin diodes currently installed. They should have capacitance of about 1 picofarad max at 30 volts. And I found a plot here. Here it is. Capacitance versus voltage. From 1 MHz to 1 GHz. And for normal operation we are interested in lower voltages. Right here. As we can see capacitance can uh, be even higher than 1 picofarad. Up to 1.3 or so. And we have 4 diodes in parallel. So perhaps about 5 picofarad total. And suggested replacement diodes are here, TVS, or transient voltage suppressor, ESD 113 V1 series, bidirectional, 3.6 volts, 0.2 picofarad. Again, some plots. First of all, characteristic curve. It is symmetric. The diodes should do practically nothing up to 3.6 volts or so, plus or minus. And after that, they should trigger and clamp the voltage. Here is capacitance versus voltage at 1 GHz, slightly above 0.2, and uh, slightly higher for 1 MHz, but still below 0.3. Much better, about uh, 4 to 5 times lower. And here is capacitance versus frequency. The spectrum analyzer has bandwidth of 1.5 GHz, so we're interested in this range. And the capacitance is about 0.2 at 0 volts. And this is insertion loss. Again, up to 1.5 GHz, we should expect just a tiny fraction of dB. So perhaps below 0.1 dB for all four diodes. And just to check all this makes sense, there is a warning next to the input connector on the spectrum analyzer saying 20 dBm max. And 20 dBm is about 3.16 volts peak to peak. And after about 3.6 TVS diodes should trigger, which seems reasonable to me. I took the analyzer apart. Here is the repaired front end. Let's remove the protection diodes and measure without them. Here we are, measuring without protection diodes. We read about minus 1.4 dBm, which is about 1.1 dB higher. The analyzer is apart again. And here I have TVS diodes. Let's fit them and see what happens. And now, with TVS diodes installed, we read about the same as without them. Wonderful! I'm quite happy with the result. Thanks for watching. Bye!